Oh man, what's this guy writing? Shoot, I don't know. What is it, math, math by, oh, it's math by fives, I love this guy. Right, some of his math videos are hilarious. Shoot, dot com. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> whoa, differential equations. The first order differential equation, m of x and y, plus n of x and y, dy dx, equals zero, or m of xy dx plus n of xy dy equals zero is said to be homogeneous type if. When written in differential form, dy dx equals f of xy, there exists a function g such that f of x and y can be expressed in the form g of a single variable y over x. If the function m of xy plus n of xy dy dx equals zero is a homogeneous equation, then the change of variables y equals vx transforms the equation into a separable equation in the variables v and x. What is he doing? He's attempting to separate those differential equations? How's he gonna do that? Oh, he, he sees that they're homogeneous. Right, or homogeneous type anyway. He's making that substitution, that usual substitution for that type of homogeneous equate, homogeneous function. Sure, so he sets y equal to vx, and then he sees v is y over x, and then he differentiates both sides with respect to x. Why is he doing that? Oh, it's because he wants to make the usual substitution. Oh, sure. So on the right side, when he differentiates both sides, he uses the product rule. Right. And then he takes that dy dx and substitutes it in for dy dx. Sure. Now he's getting all of his v's on one side. Mm-hmm. Why? Because he's going to attempt to separate them. Yeah. Oh, man, I think he uses this video in another one of his differential equations videos, too. Or at least this solution. Oh man, he's got to add those fractions. Whoa, there he goes. He's even showing his work. Man, this guy doesn't step any skips. Yeah, um, so looks like he's got to get a common denominator and he does that. Right, so he's cruising, he's cruising. And he distributes in there. Sure, ooh, ooh. he does that in his other videos. Ah, hilarious. Right, uh huh, sure. Now he's gonna gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. Huh, he sees that those V's cancel out. They're additive inverses. Yeah, um, great. Look at that. Factoring out that minus, that's a good touch. Sure. So yeah, he's gonna keep on keeping on and put that back over on the left-hand side. Oh, he puts it on the right-hand side. Good, right. So he's rewriting what he did over on the side. Yeah, um, now he's gonna attempt to separate his differentials. Right, in doing so, he needs to divide both sides by the reciprocal, or multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the right-hand side. And then that's what he got over there on the left-hand side. Yeah, and then um, he also divides both sides by x. Right, oh, th thank you. Uh-huh, sure. So, now what's he gonna do? He thinks about it. 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 Come on, dude, figure it out. Oh, he's got it. He wants to integrate both sides. But now how? That left-hand side, hmm. Uh, first he thinks it's a U sub, right? But it's not, right? He's gonna separate those two fractions, right? Into two different fractions. Why? Because then one of them will be a U sub. And it looks like, um, with a little forethought, the other one's gonna be an inverse tangent. Right, okay, all right, so there he goes. He separated them, why? Because they were fractions. Oh, sure. So here it goes, he's gonna put that separated form in there. Pulls the minus outside of everything. And then he says the integral of a sum is the sum of the integrals. Sure, right. There's that first part of that separated fraction. Okay, he's still going, he's got that action. And now his left-hand side has gotten much bigger. Man, I wish he would close those parentheses. That's kind of bugging me. Oh, wow. Oh, now he's over on the side again. 
He's even showing his U substitution, this integration, right? He's gonna make the bottom U, right? When I say bottom, I mean denominator, right? Oh, he's got a hilarious video on that too. Um, um, something about Justin Timberlake and stuff. So then there's that U, DV, what's he doing? Um, um, <laughs> he's erasing, right? Yeah, because he wants to take the derivative of both sides. Ah, so the derivative of the derivative of u is du, and then the derivative of v squared plus one is two v dv. Ah, now he's making the substitution where v dv is going to be separated into one half du over u. Oh, okay. Now he's on a roll. There he goes, and then he integrates that to the natural log. Sure. Um. His hands are pretty big compared to me. Oh, okay, yeah, keep going. Kind of got freckles too. Right, so he integrated that one right there, sure. And then he looks at that one, inspects it, and says, that is the inverse tangent. Oh, man, I knew that was going to come into play here somewhere. Sure, so that's the inverse tangent of V. Mm-hmm, finally, he closes those parentheses. Yeah, and then on the right-hand side, that's another logarithm. Now what? Does he want to back sub? He is going to back sub. I wonder what he did with that minus on the outside. Gosh, I hope he puts it on the other side. Oh, he can get rid of the absolute values because v squared plus 1 is never going to be negative. So they're gone. Right, that argument is always positive. So we need not have the absolute values anymore. He did move the minus to the other side, multiplying both sides by a minus sign. Smart, smart. Okay, um, now what? Another piece of paper. Oh, property of exponents, sticky hand. Right, that's where you can take the mm-hmm and put it up top. And then he has those rational exponents and knows that that's the root. Come on, it's the inverse tangent. It's the inverse tangent. Um, um, okay, just write that sign. All right, yeah, so he keeps on keeping on. Yeah. Move it up. And, okay, now he's making his back substitution. Why? Because the solution should be in terms of x's and y's. A lot of the time you want to solve for y, but every once in a while you won't be able to. And then you'll have to leave it in implicit form. I think that's what he's going to have to do on this one, because I don't see him separating that root, nor do I see him separating that um, inverse tangent. Right, um, so now take a look at this. He adds those fractions. That's y squared over x squared. And then he adds that to 1, getting y squared plus x squared over x squared all underneath that root. But then he takes the square root of that denominator. Oh, he probably should have put the absolute value on that one. Maybe he'll catch that. I don't know. Right, because uh, the root of x squared is the absolute value of x. Ah! Now he sees that the log of a quotient is the difference of the logs, and he did catch that absolute value. Whew, I was worried there for a second. Right, um, all right, so now with additive inverses, they're out of here. Oh, I love when that happens. Yeah, um, am I in the way here? Mm, um, excuse me, guy? Um, okay, keep going. Um, and he's done. <laughs> Box and flower. Studying. 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 Studying.